Hello everyone, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel. I probably should welcome myself back to my channel since it has been almost a year since I've posted. Um, but I just wanted to come back because I have a cool video for everyone. Um, I'm going to be showing you what is in my watercolor sketch bag, I guess. Um, when I go watercolor sketching and painting, I bring this bag with me. It has all my supplies, all my tools, and I thought I would share with you what is in it. So let's get into the actual bag. Um, this bag, I got it off of Amazon. They have a ton of different sellers on Amazon that are all carrying this exact same bag, but under different names. So I'm not quite sure what the deal with that is, but I will put the link to this exact bag that I got just in case they are a little bit different. So on the outside, I did a little bit of embroidery just to make it more personalized. <laughs> and it has a ton of pockets. So first, if you just clip back this pocket, these sides, they zip down like this and the bag opens up all the way. So I have a bunch of supplies in here. I currently don't have anything in here. I first had put some watercolor pencils in here and they fit great and everything. It's just they were making my bag a little bit too heavy and I don't use them all that often. So um, I decided to take them out. Um, now there's this one main pocket up here and first on top I keep just a little wash rag to wipe off my brush when I need to. It's much better than paper towels because I can keep reusing it over and over and not have to worry about finding a place to throw away dirty paper towels. Then I have my sketchbook. Um, this is a Arteza watercolor sketchbook. I just got this one. I had the same sketchbook before, but I went all the way through it. If you'd like me to do a sketchbook tour and show you everything that I painted, let me know in the comments and I will do that. Um, so let me cover my phone number there. On the inside, this is my first painting, but I have some stickers that I got from my neighbor. So shout out to Rose. Um, and I will show you in another video what I painted in my old sketchbook, but I just started this one. And it's a really small size, which I actually like. I haven't really painted on anything too much bigger since I just got into watercolor, but this fits in my bag really nicely, if you can see the size comparison. And it works out pretty well. Next, I will show you my paints. So I use the Van Gogh watercolor set, and it's kind of dirty. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I have the 15 color pack. Um, it comes with this brush that is very, very small. I feel like a, I don't know, makeup YouTuber. <laughs> and it just comes out like this and you put it in here. It is a size six and I don't use brushes. I use water brushes, so I don't actually use this. <laughs> but the only reason I keep it in here is because, let me try to get it back without The only reason I use it is because on the end, it has this little tool that you put it in the side here and then, oh, yeah, <laughs> that happens. And you can take the palette out and there's even more room that you can do more mixing here. So I just got this for my birthday, which was July 6th, and I've already used it a ton, as you can tell, and I love it so far. Um, so now I'll show you what was in that first pocket, this, this pocket here, and I guess there's a lot in here, so we should just get started. So first in this top row here, I have three brushes, and these brushes actually came with a watercolor set that I already had a while ago. I don't use it anymore, and... They all had the same lid, but I couldn't find this one, so I replaced it with that one. But they're a lot longer than Pentel Aquash brushes, which are like the standard brush that I think a lot of people use for watercolor. Um, and then it comes in a flat tip. It comes in very fine tip. And lastly, just a standard 
tip and this is one I use the most often. I pretty much for all my paintings stick with just the one and don't even use the other ones. So that's on my top row and also up here this is going to be don't laugh at me, but I have mace in here, pepper spray, in case I get kidnapped while I'm out alone in the forest. <laughs> so I have mace. <laughs> um, now this next pocket here, I have a little mini ruler that I actually got in a kit a while ago. It's by Kelly Creates. And it just says slow and steady, steady, slow and steady. <laughs> um, so here's that. I have, okay, again, don't laugh at me. I have this alarm that like you pull on it and then if you're getting kidnapped, it'll make a sound. <laughs> um, then I have three Pentel Aquash brushes, which I don't use too often, um, but I like, I think I like the tips of them better, but I don't like how short they are. So yeah. Then I have a white colored pencil which I don't think I've used. Actually, I may have used it a few times, but I'm going to get a white gel pen because I've had some and they've run out of ink, but I'm getting a white gel pen today so I can use that. Then I have this pencil. I got this from Target, actually. It's 0.7 millimeters Pentel, just mechanical pencil. It had this little like lid that went over this, but I don't really know where it went, so. I'll have to find that. <laughs> then I have three fine liners. Um, I have this one, it's a Pigma Micron 005. And I don't use this too often because it's kind of almost out of ink, but I'm also buying a couple more Pigma Microns. Um, and then I have these two in 05 and 08. They're both by Kelly Creates. Again, I just got these in like a kit a while ago. And they work fine, they're waterproof, and so I can put them over or under my watercolor paintings. Which I usually, when I'm painting with watercolor, I don't use too much pen, but even just to date them or sign them, I like to do that too. Alright, we're getting to the end here. Um, this last little pocket here, I keep, first off, my AirPods, because it's kind of nice to listen to music while I'm painting. I don't use them too often though because I'm worried that I'll be listening to music and someone's going to sneak up on me and kidnap me, but um, hopefully that won't happen and I can start using them more. And last, stuck in here, I have this Winsor & Newton um, gouache, designer's gouache. It's just zinc white. I really want to get the permanent white one because it really is more opaque. And this one is better for mixing than permanence. So I'll have to do that. But so far, this has been working fine. And then I have this that I put on all my many bug bites that I get while I'm painting because it just makes them not itch as much. So yeah, that is my, my bag all emptied out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning about what I keep in my sketch bag. Again, if you are interested in seeing some of the things that I have painted and hearing the stories about why I painted them, please comment down below and I will definitely make that video. All right, I hope everyone has a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.